Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is how to create a simple post and rail system like this. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for more videos, and don't forget to check out my website 3dassetlibrary.com for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what I've done here is I've been working on creating, figuring out how to create a very simple post and rail system here. Now, um, as you can see here, when I move this fader, it's adding more um, rails, and if I move this uh, fader here, it shrinks it and adds more posts where needed. So, um, how I did this, we'll start from scratch, is you um, right click in the uh, node window here, and or network view, sorry, and um, we will type in right click, type in geo, which brings up a geometry node, and we'll just give this a name, so you just click on the name to name it, so post rail, and then we'll double click on the um, little white part. That'll bring us into here. Now what we want to do is right click, line, and then what we'll do is we'll sort of copy that so we've got two. We'll name this one horizontal, uh, horizontal and spell, and we'll name this one vertical. So basically these two lines I'm going to use to control how high the fence goes and um, how many posts, uh, how many rails will be in it, and also how long the fence is uh, with how many posts in it. And um, you'll see how this goes in a minute. So what we want to do first is in our scene view, if we to navigate the scene view, if you hold the middle mouse button uh, down, you can um, move up, down, left, right. Um, if you hold the right button, you can zoom in, zoom out. And if you hold the left button, you can just uh, move around it. So over here we've got our little point button so we click that that displays our points and then below it we've got one that's got like a, a 12 in my case I'm not sure if that's the same on everybody so click that and that shows you point numbers so what we want to do is we want to for our height we want to right click type in tube and that'll give us a tube to show the tube um, or to show a, 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 an item we're on is you've got to click the little blue a little tab here, blue tab, so that will now show our item, but the line's gone. But we'll merge this all together and see it all at the end. So then on our click on our tube, and what we want to do is primitive type polygon. Um, and what we then, sorry, what we then want to do is go drag off of the pin and press tab to bring up our menu. So to bring up the menu, you can either do a right click or a tab, depending on what you're doing, and we'll type in fill, and we'll choose polyfill. Then select the blue um, tab there to show our polyfill. So you can see it's filled the caps, but we want to triangulate that. So we'll drop down the fill mode and uh, select triangle fan. And as you can see here, it's created a top and bottom cap, but it's, just, it's uh, elevated. So what we'll do is just scroll down a bit to deform path and untick that. So now as you can see here, it's flat. So we've got our end caps for our post. Now what we want to do is add a transform node. So right click transform. And we'll drag the pins together and move to our transform mode. Uh, transform node. And then what we'll do is we'll set the um, scale of our transform. So we'll, uh, we want to say, we'll put that as 0.1, and uh, that's 0.1, and then we just leave our height set to 1. Now, as you can see here, it's in the center of the grid. What we want it to do is we want the bottom to sit on the top of the grid here so that when when we um, move the the line, it's not going, um, move our, yeah, our ver horizontal line, it's not going, um, uh, vertical line, sorry, it's not going, um, up, up and down both ways, it's not scaling both ways, we just want it to go up. So what we'll do is we'll move back to our tube and we will then set our, I believe it's this one, center to 0.5, which then sits on the grid, as we can see there. So now it's, it's sat perfectly on the grid. So back in our transform, what we want to do is we want our vertical line to control um, the scale here. So we want it to essentially do that, so it's just moving up and down. So what we'll do is we'll go to our vertical line here and we will right click on length, copy parameter. So what that's doing is that's copying the value that's in here. And then what we'll do is go back to our transform and then we'll go to our scale and just clear that and then right click, paste a relative reference. So as you can see here, this is all changed. Um, if we click scale, that changes it back to what it was, but you'll notice that now this field here is green. So what that's doing is that is basically getting the value that's input here. So what happens is when we move this, as you can see here, it's moving up and down. So, 
Now what we want to do is we want to look at our horizontal line now. So we want to create our rail. So what we can do is we can just, um, we'll just shift this over here and I'll go copy the tube and um, select that. And what we'll do again is make sure it's obviously polygon. Uh, we don't need um, end caps this time because it's going to be uh, insected with the fence. We want to rotate it. Uh, I don't think it's that one. I think it's that one. And um, then we want to add a transform node again. And we make it smaller than the other one. So the other one was 0 0.1. So we'll make this say 0 um, 0.7. 0 0.07, sorry. Oh, wrong one. Uh, 0.07 and then we want to shift this over to the edge of the uh, grid like our other one so we'll go back to tube and where is it where is it set that back to zero I believe it's that one nope it is that one uh, the reason I'm getting a little bit confused with this is because um, I think the XYZ is a, a little bit different in this so what would usually be Z Z's in the middle and it's it's getting me a little bit confused obviously where I'm jumping between things like blender and that I'm sure there's a way to set it but what I'm doing is trying to keep it as it is so that anybody who's looking at this follows along um, you know that we don't don't look at it and think oh, what's going on you know why isn't mine doing this so that, there we go we've got our uh, our uh, little rail centered there so now what we want to do is we want to get the horizontal value as before and we want to paste that into the scale here so that when we move our line and horizontal value it shifts this up and down so what we can do is go to horizontal right click on length uh, copy wrap parameter click on that clear our scale and we'll go uh, paste relevant 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 reference and then we'll do is just to check that works and it works so set that back to one and um, so then what we'll do is we'll just merge, create a merge node. So right click, merge. So what this is going to do is it's going to merge our post and rail together. So what we do is we, we don't want the horizontal and the vertical lines. We'll just shift those two together for the minute. And we just want the value that's um, uh, the two uh, tubes that we've created. So once we've insected both those into here, we can just um, go like that. So now we can see both our, our tubes here. And so... Now what we want to do is we want to put, say, when we scale this uh, horizontal line here, we basically want to put a post in, say, on every every value there. So what we want to do is if we go back to our, um, we'll shift that over there for the minute, and we will go, well, let me just shift these back so they're not tangled. Right, so what I'm going to do is put that over there over there so what we want to do is on our horizontal line here um i'll show you our vertical line i have what have i done here do, uh, right so what we'll do is we will um rotate our horizontal line so just check that when we're on our horizontal line that does yet what it's supposed to do but obviously when we're visually looking at it as you saw there i ran into that they're both vertical so what we'll do is we'll orient it this so um uh, that it's going along the same axis. So we want to zero, uh, one. So there we go. So now when we go to that, yep, yeah, they're both the same. Right. So we'll go to our horizontal. And currently when we uh, move the length, you can see here we've only got one point. So we've got zero, one. And what we want to do is we want to have some control in the middle there where we can add um, an extra point or loads of points or whatever to um, allow us to procedurally put a post in. So what we'll do is off of this node, we'll drag off, type uh, tab, hit tab, sorry, and put resample. And you'll see here, when we move to our, uh, select our resample node, we've got loads of new points here, and these can be controlled by the length. So as you can see here, um, we can do that. So what we'll do is we'll just set that value to one. So then what happens is when we move this length here, you'll see that it's automatically adding um, a new uh, value. So if we type in three, we've got, you see there, one, two, three, four, and we'll type in two, one, two, three, and um, obviously zero is uh, the, the way 3D works, is it starts at zero, so you actually, it's zero, one, two, so zero, one, two, as you can see there. And um, so you can see here we've got these dots. Now what we want to do is if we put that back to one, is we basically want to copy this post to these points so that when we move these it automatically copies it to the new points so what we'll do is we'll right click in here 
copy two points. And now you've got the, um, for neatness sake, what I'll do is I'll just shift that in there. So we've got our target points. So this is our line that we've created here and the geometry to copy to it. So we'll drag our target points into there and we'll drag our geometry into there. And then what we'll do is we'll just select this line by clicking on it or drag clicking and just delete it. So it's no longer a connection to the merge. Now, if we select that, you can see now we've got two points. Now, if we go to our um, horizontal line here and drag off, you can see it's adding more posts. So we're getting somewhere. Now, what we'll do is we'll drag that into our merge. And what we want to do now is we now want to repeat this process with our um, rail. So let's just drag that out so we can see. Yeah, you can see the rail sizing as, as it should. Um, but what we also, oh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Yep, so what we, we've got here, we want to now do the same process with our rail. So go to our vertical and we'll go drag off tab resample. Then on the resample, we've got exactly as before, we'll set the length to one. And we'll come back to that um, in a minute. And um, so what we want to do is then we want to similar as before we want to basically copy to points so right click copy to points and we'll drag our points in our geometry in break this connection drag that in so now when we go there we've got two but as you can see here that's not how a, a fence would be in real life so what we want to do is with this value uh, this um, horizontal post or vertical post sorry is that we want to um, basically basically add um, a little bit of extra height to this. Um, so what we can do is we can go to our vertical tube, which is this one, just check it's, uh, oh, that's our, or, uh, yeah, our vertical tube, sorry, horizontal tube. No, I was correct, vertical tube. This is confusing me a bit because obviously we've got our horizontal line here, which is going that way to put the posts in, but the actual tubes are vertical. So we'll go to, go to our tube and um, so, as you can see here, we've got our tube. We can go to our merge nodes. We can see both, so we've got a bit, a bit high. So we'll select our tube. And what we want to do is move down to the transform node. And we want to add a little bit of um, to the end of this. So if we click scale, that brings up this. And what the, uh, just to, to show you again, so you click scale, and you'll see here it changes all the values. So we want to go to the end of our uh, green field here. And we'll put plus, say, um, what we'll do is put plus, 0.2 as you can see there that's uh, raised the height and um, we'll say yep yeah, happy with that so that's basically said that um, when we move our horizontal line vertical line sorry what that's doing is that's basically making sure that that's the correct height of this but also adding plus two on the end um, so that we're not getting um, uh, this overlapping the top of it so move that back and go back to our post so now the problem is here we've got this post and obviously that's not ideal so what we'll do is just go to a resample and we'll drop that down so we add another post in so we'll go say 9.8 and um, so that's ideally what we want there so what we can do is if we move our copied points down here and what I'll do is I'll just shift these all about so we've got a little bit more room ba -ba 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 -ba. And we are going to basically select um, this bottom point here. So what I did there is I went to my vertical line and we're going to select this bottom point here and we're going to delete it. And um, then what's going to happen is that we're then going to, when this tube here is um, pasted to the points, it won't paste to that. So what we'll do is we'll right click group by range drag that on there. Now what's going to happen here is you can see here it's, it's selected the whole uh, primitive. So what we do is with our group uh, node selected, go to primitives, points. So now that's selecting the points. So what we want to do is we want to um, say, I believe it's start, end, and it selected the end, uh, the start, sorry. And um, what we can do then is in future we can select um, you know uh, how many nodes we want to uh, node sorry points we want to select up the the um range but currently all we want to do is select the bottom one and so then what we'll do is we'll give this a name just um just so you know for future it's good practice to name these um i'm do i'm not because it's for the purpose of the, this tutorial is just to help you 
Um, but for this, I'm going to name this uh, group um, first point. And then what we can do is we also want to name this as well. So if we go up, click on our group node and go up to the window here and you'll see there's another name. So you've got our initial name and our group name. So name this GRP um, first point. So now what happens is we would right click, create a blast node. So this is essentially like, I assume, I guess it's like a delete is the best way to explain it. And what we want to do is, currently it's got rid of everything, but we want it to just get rid of what we've created in that group. So what we can do is we can drop down this, click on our blast node, drop down group, and we'll select group first point. So now we can see here, it's got rid of this point and moved up from zero one. So now when we go to copy points, we're getting no rail at the bottom. And now when we go to merge, we got that. So now what happens is when we move our vertical line, we should get more posts, which we are. And then when we move our tube, um, sorry, our horizontal line, we're getting our um, rails here. So what we'll do for logic send was name this length. Oh, it's correctly spelt, of course, and height so that makes more sense to us when we come back and look at it you can color code these as well um, I think you click that and you can click on the node and then say green so we can make anything green say for instance is editable so that when we you know see this is for relatively small but we could be doing some huge project here and we know that for instance anything green is something we can edit anything purple is you know whatever we could say anything that say for instance red um, is a, a delete node so that when we're looking through our our network we know what's going on so as you can see there this is a very close uh, very close together so what we might want to do here is go to our say uh, let's have a look we uh, can basically set so currently we've got it pretty i think it's uh, when it's set to length one here so we'll click on our resample node for the length the rail length and um, we've currently got it set so i believe that's every one grid um, space there. Let's just try that to see if that's correct. Yeah, so you can see that every every one grid um, uh, line is putting a post. Obviously in real life it doesn't work like that. There'd be more, more of a gap. So what we can do is we can click on our resample and on the length we can say, well, we'll set that to three for instance. And as you can see there you think, oh well that's, that's more like a rail. Um, and then what we can do is go to our line and when we extrude this now, say put a value of six we're only getting um we're getting less rails which looks more realistic um as we can yeah see here we can turn these values off now so we can see what our rail looks like it's intersecting it's all correct and um we've merged it we've um looked at using creating geometry um simple geometry turning it into a polygon putting n caps on what the transform um does um you can obviously scale stuff within here but i think it's generally good practice to use transform node because i think it's then uh helps with it being procedural and non-destructive but um, obviously like you guys learning as i'm going along um we learned to use a line and control that value um you can obviously uh you could just control the value in here but i think it's more practical to do this because then you can you could add uh, this this value here this length value to lots of other things if you wanted to um we've looked at resampling so that's adding more points to our um our geometry our line here which allows us to then copy to the points as we've seen here and um we've learned about uh, had a look at brief look at grouping how we've grouped selected something to put in a group and then we looked at blast and how to delete something from a group which then allowed us to copy the points for that and then we merged it all together to create a very simple post and rail system so yeah hopefully that helps um what i'll probably look at doing next is probably have a look at following a curve line so that we can draw say a line and then this will follow a, um our our rail so that you know essentially we could go from here to here to here to here with a curve then we'll go across there and we can essentially draw our fence pattern out rather than well currently like this this is fixed in position um but yeah hope that helped if it did please do like and subscribe